Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calmlands. I like the feel of it. And I like, like I've, I've got plans for this map. I, I, I like to look forward, I like to make plans for, for new maps and so on. So like, uh, I always enjoy this, this, this stage, moving in, starting afresh and so on. And it's whizzing around here. I also really like this Landini tractor. We have not used Landini yet. I'm not getting rid of this one. Although, financially, it would make sense to sell this tractor. Because you have a look here a minute. Right? Financially, 114000 just from there. If I take it up to the dealership, we get even more. And I could go and buy a... Have we got anything on offer? There's no tractors on offer. Uh, medium tractor for something similar... That one's 108. Oh, okay. What is that? Oh! The Robo 6 Edit. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Well, anyway, um,. See, I could go and get something like that one. There's a 300 horsepower tractor, a 210 horsepower tractor. And it's only 70,000. So I would have a significant chunk of change. I could also go with the case right there. I've got some of the tractors edited by Stevie. I won't be using those in this series. They just happen to be in the list. Um, so there's a few options here that have got some reasonably powerful tractors that are quite cheap. That I could be using. So there's like that one there. 180 horsepower. And only 33,000. See? We, we, we've got, what? 235? There's quite a few options now. There are. Look at that one. It's really tempting to sell. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. That's the whole point. Like I've got all of these tempting offers. I'm not taking up any of them. I'm sticking with this Landini tractor. We're not getting rid of it. I already sold the McCormick tractor that was uh, tucked into the shed alongside it. I got rid of that one because I felt that, you know, having two tractors, big tractors to start with, was kind of going against the flavor of a hardcore series. But I feel that this one is okay, especially if I don't abuse it and I keep this tractor here. So we're going to run with this one. We've only got four more rows to go, and then we can gather up all of the straw. I'll check the prices in a minute. Straw, I don't think it's worth holding on to. We just sell it straight off the field. I Yeah, because I, I don't really want to be holding on to it. For, although, I haven't, got, I haven't got a shed to put it in. I'd have to put all my machinery outside. I can't really do that either, so I'd have to buy a shed. I got 1,690 euros left. Our finances are pretty grim right now. Hmm. How can we make some... I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to cut down trees. Right? We can sell straw. We, we, we're going to be making a load of hay, which we can go and sell. Now, in August, it's probably not the best time to sell the hay tiny bit just there I see this little spurt of straw that was put out August may not necessarily be the best time for selling hay so we might want to go forward a month or two but I'm a bit concerned about the amount of money that it's going to cost us every single time we skip into the next month you know, grow things and produce things and so on because of the five million dollar loan. I was not able to finish the last series within my allotted 75 episodes. It took 76 episodes worth. Um, so I have to have it. I mean, I thought that was pretty good. 76. I needed to do it within 75 episodes, and it took me 76 episodes. I, I mean, I thought that was really, really good. Not good enough, clearly, but I still think that credit where it's due, I don't think that was too bad. Just one episode out of my allotted target, 
Right, I've got a couple little bits of straw here, and right now the money is so tight that we cannot afford to be leaving any of this behind. What am I going to do for short-term income? Greenhouses are obviously the best option for short-term income. Like you, you go and get a greenhouse, and you have regular income all the time. I had two greenhouses in the last series, so I don't want to do greenhouses in this series. Which is why I'm thinking that getting sheep is the single best option that we can have short term. Let's pop those two out. Let's go here. We've got 60 bales exactly. And we'll bring this... We'll, we'll take this one up here. And we'll park this one up in the shed again. So short term sheep. Getting some sheep means that we then have the wool. We don't need to feed masses of food to them. We have the wool and the wool can be sold direct. We don't need to be processing it at all. And there's a bit more of a regular income coming in, at least from them. What is the current price for hay? And how much fluctuation do we get here it's 62 and it is currently 62 it goes up to 76 14 per thousand liters difference straw 36 right now it's actually on 37 uh it goes up to 54 it's not a lot is it not from 60 bales there's, there's really not very much. It is a little bit of income. I might just leave the bales loaded on the trailer for a minute. And we'll see how things go. The hay, I'll make it and sell it straight off the field. Actually, no, we don't, we don't even need to do that. I, I'm not going to be able to buy anything with what we've got at the moment. And the flour, the best price for that is not until January. So... Yeah, I still don't think I'm going to be doing that before January. Uh, operating position is B. Right. Let's load this one up and see how it works. Nice. Having done this myself in real life, that is how I would load a bottom layer. Right, it's gone out that far, and how are you doing it? Yeah, and it goes over there, and then you swap the other side. Whoever made this trailer has done this in real life. Okay, so I like this. Whoever has, whoever made this trailer has actually done this job in real life. I can say with confidence, well, either that or they've done their research. They've either done this job themselves or they have done their homework and spoken to someone that has done this in real life because that is loading properly. All right, they, they are actually loading these bales properly onto that trailer right now. This is brilliant. I'm really impressed with this. Let's, let's run this round. Take these. I'm going to take the straw and I'm going to take it straight up and sell it. And then the hay that we make in a bit, that is going to be... We won't be doing that straight away. Like, we, we might just keep the hay until a bit later. And just, just to get that extra little bit of money. We'll see how much money we need. This is going to be our main challenge on this map is getting enough money coming in to pay for the stuff that we need to pay for. One of the things that we are going to need to pay for is a log trailer. We've got trees here available that we can cut down and so we will be cutting down some of the pine trees that are available. There's a few down the side of us here that we can cut. So we're on 55 bales. We've only got 60 bales here. So it's only the back half of this trailer that's going to be loaded takes up to 153 of them and 60 bales there exactly right 
So if I go transporting position, it doesn't actually have any straps. So if I try to unload it, it's not going to do anything. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that the, the, the person doing this has actually done this job. I can say that with a reasonable amount of confidence. Let's bring that round so that you can see the load right there. So if I've done everything here, I got 1,690. The best way for us to make any money to start with is going to be forestry. And then I'm thinking we want to be planting some crops and we want to build towards getting the windmill so that we can make flour um we'll be able to sell things off each winter we'll be able to also do a bit of hay um we'll change bale loader and baler and everything a bit later on so that we can get some slightly more expensive stuff so at the moment i'm gonna need we won't do it with lightsabers even though the lightsabers are wicked cool we will go with one of these probably a steel and we will also need forestry equipment, which means that we're going to need to be able to move stuff. A timber runner 12 meter auto load trailer that costs 40,000 euros would be exquisite at this point, but we can't afford that. We cannot afford that. So I've got, I don't know, what, what does that even go on? Oh. Yeah, I can't really afford the quarter of a million for the, the front loader, so that one's out. 5,000. That one's 1,000 for a self-made forest trailer, a small one. Or we've got that wood trailer there for 3,800. Now, the problem with this one is that it is rather short. It's also a bit more difficult to use because it sits like that. Um, and so you really want a tractor for it to be hooked onto to load it. This one, a similar situation, although that's five grand. Uh, that one would be great. We could just drag the logs up and we can drag them along our land and then into the piece at the top. And that is a really good way of doing it. I do like to do it like that. But I'm sort of thinking that they're not going to be happy with us going and dragging logs through that only entrance way up there. So we will say no, that is not an option for us. We can't do that. We could try that one, which grabs hold of them and picks up the logs one or two at a time. And we carry them in with that. But again, no, it's still ultimately you run the risk of too much dragging so we're down to this one which is the one that we've used before we used this one in the previous series um so there's that one there now i've got pallet forks we might be able to load the logs with pallet forks if we can't we're going to need to be able to get a log fork uh there's one there for three grand there's another one somewhere there's a log fork with grapple there for just 800 euros from the bandirite the ban bandiranti stuff right there if that actually goes with the if i go here combinations i i'm going to assume that we could pick that one up with our standard this is the new set of mods that were released by Bandaranti, but is it Bandaranti, Bandairanti, Band Bandaranta? I'm not sure. I'm not sure where they're from. Is it Bandaranta, Band Band Bandai Bandairanti. I really, really not sure if it, you know, what the country of origin is. So I don't really know how to pronounce that. But um, Bandaranti, we'll just call it Bandaranti. I'll. I'll go at it with the traditional british approach and butcher it for every single language instead of just one or two <laughs> it's usually the best way to do it uh, another log fork here so there's one there for 800 as well i actually prefer the look of the other one so there's 800 for the log fork that we need and then this where it go is 3800 for that one which means that we need to be forking out the log fork see what i did there 
um, 4,600. So, and then we need another 1,000. So, we need 6,000. We need 6,000 euros to be able to start doing anything with um, trees. It shouldn't be too difficult, actually. So, first up, let's go this way. 6,000 euros. Now, I've got this trailer right here. The thing that I don't like about the other auto load trailer for small bales is that it doesn't tow up a hill very well. I had a lot of issues with towing that one up a hill. So I'm pleased to see that at the moment this John Deere one does actually seem like it's, it's pretty good for the task. That, that does actually seem just fine. And I'm also pretty pleased with the little track that we built there. It saves us quite a bit of a trip, you can see. Uh, when I go back again, I'll go back the longer route, just so that you can see how much we're cutting out each time. And it is a significant chunk there. There is a fair bit. Now, I get... It's like 30 euros per thousand litres on this. Where am I supposed to be going with it? Straw. Animal dealer. Let's have a look. Zoom in. Animal dealer. That would be that one at the back. Right. See, there's... All of these cell points are all sort of squeezed in together, but you can access them. That's wood over there. Animal dealer is this one back this way. Driving through here. I, I like the way this is all set out. It's an industrial estate. You've just got an industrial estate here where they process and deal with everything. So there's the actual animal dealer. And this is where you take your straw. So we'll bring this one in here. Like that. And I'm going to unload this onto the trailer rather than beside the trailer. So I go like that and unload bales here. I can move them side to side. I want to unload them right there. That's brilliant. 1,890 from 60 bales of straw. That's actually pretty good. That is actually pretty good. That's, that's, that's not bad at all. And then I need to reset the trailer as well. We mustn't forget that. That's not that's not too bad. So I've now got three and a half thousand euros. I need to go next up we want to start doing some grass cutting. I've got several jobs that I need to do. What are we gonna prioritize? Working in the field, I need to plow it, I need to spread lime on it, and so on. I'm going to eventually want to plow up the land up here that we're going to be working on. So I can't really do that at the moment. That's not really an option. So if we go from... we got this little track that just runs down there. We're going to drive on up, and I'll show you how much we've cut out just by building that track. Like, you know, going around it once... You sort of think, well, yeah, you know, you, you've cut out a bit, but it's not very much. But when you've got to do this several times, if we were, you know, if we're transporting stuff backwards and forwards a number of times, we've actually cut out quite a bit of journey time just by having that little bit all the way up there by the trees. If we take it further down and we have a more direct route to the entrance to the farm, that's going to have cut out quite a substantial trip. This way. You can be shut off now. I need to plow this field up. I want to do that with hired help. I haven't really got anything else that I can be doing with the hired help just yet. Uh, not with the hired help. I haven't really got anything else that I can be doing just yet while the hired help does that. There are trees that we want to cut. This is what I also want to look at. Go up this way. We can cut these trees up here. As far as that one. And then I run along here. That tree there, I think, is outside of what we own. 
So I've got a few trees in here that I can cut. And uh, tall trees. Full grown ones. We won't be touching any of the deciduous trees. They're going to stay there. I'm not interested in trying to take those out. Um, we've also got to be careful where we cut trees. Because we're, like, we're going to want to be able to move them. That one's not ours. We don't own anything up this side. So we've got, there are a few trees there in a clump that we can do something with. Uh, the trees down there, around that bit, they're not pine trees. We can't really do anything with those. So I've only got a, like a little patch just there. Which makes it more difficult. And then there's also a few trees there next to our road that we've got and a couple the other side of the road over there so i have not got very much in the way of timber so we'll start working on cutting down a few of these trees when we've and then while we're doing that the hired help can be plowing up that field down there i think it'd be the best option do it like that i think something like that i'm not quite sure yet how we're going to do this uh let's just bring you over here and leave you there for now. And we're going to go and start doing some mowing. Now, I need to make a decision. I'm, I'm sort of thinking I'm spreading myself too thin. The hay here, I'm going, to, I'm going to do one cut of hay and I'm going to see how this works out. If I think that actually it's not worth doing this, uh, cutting, this uh, cutting and making hay, silage would be great, but... I kind of need a wrapper and stuff like that in order to make it, and that takes quite a bit of time. Uh, so maybe you need to be focusing a bit more on arable crops instead. So let's just get across the road over here, and I want to try and find the edge of our land, which is about there, I think. So if I unfold you, you wouldn't be doing it like that. You'd actually be doing it while you're driving forward, because otherwise it just wouldn't work very well. Uh, not that way. Let me go in. Yeah, that way. So we want to head up there somewhere. What options have we got? I've never used this mower. Oh, I see. I can choose to swing it in a little bit if I want to, just manually, or we can leave it all the way out to the side. But we're going to leave it all the way out to the side now. Um... So let's get rid of that. There's no alternative settings for, like, leaving the grass as a row or spread out a bit more or anything like that. You should probably start the mower before you lower it down, just saying. And, right, that there is the straight line. I'm looking at the mini-map and I'm wanting to follow the straight line with the edge of the land we own. Because what I don't want it doing is saying, you don't own this, you need to go away, you need to go somewhere else. Yeah, alright, thanks mate. Um, so I need to be a little bit careful where we're driving. And let's go around there, I'm just on the inside of what we own. I guess it doesn't really, you know, one mower's width is probably not going to make much difference. Right, so that's... Essentially, where we own up to. I'm not getting a lot of grass from this, am I? I mean, there's there's bits, but I'm not getting a large amount of... Oh, I just knocked the sign over again. I think, actually, no, the, the sign was already knocked over, wasn't it? There isn't a lot of grass from this. I'm, I'm questioning whether or not it's actually going to be worth me doing this, because this is going to take a while. A little bit rough there. The baler, we want the baler because of baling up straw. Right, that's that's money well spent. I'm staying away from the road because I'm noticing that it is quite rough in places there. We don't want to be getting too close to that. Let's bring you around like this. And how well does the mower cope? It's, it's really not a lot of grass here, is there? Is this going to be worth it? 
I guess we can do we can do this once. We can do this once. I've never used a trailed mower. We'll do this the once and if we then get desperate we can sell off the mower and the rake and the uh, not the rake, we can sell the mower and the tedder. The baler and the rake we will keep because we well like with the combine we could very well be wanting to sort of put those in together. Um, it does mean that we'll have to focus more on arable crops than we are at the moment. Oh, I see. There, the road has, like, got a, a restriction on what can be dropped next to it. And the flowers... This is why it's such a thin crop here, is because of all these flowers. This is what's stopping us from really having a high yield is anywhere that they're flowers they're not it's not dropping as grass it doesn't cut into anything so if we've got a thick crop of these flowers or weeds whatever you want to describe them as um we don't get anything else and that is potentially why this is just not going to be worth it well i don't know also thinking though that by doing this it's going to allow me to get the I can sit I could sell this straight off the field and that will allow us to go and buy the that will take us up to the 6,000 euros that we need in order to be able to buy the equipment to um, do a bit of forestry work and then we can focus on the forestry work the other option of course is that I just abandon this idea right now rake at uh, you know ted and rake the little bit that i've done we might as well as we've already cut it and uh take it over and sell it and then sell the mower and the tedder the rake we'll keep for raking up straw rows uh two into one and the baler we keep for baling up straw because we had a bit of money from that and then we also keep the bale trailer on the other hand i was talking about getting some sheep just to start off with and there's a nice little spot just there that we could put the sheep in they would actually fit in there rather nicely and so that that would sort of I, I got a choice between you doing sheep in there or doing um you know plowing up a bit more land plow or plowing up that land and using it for arable farming so there's a, a straight choice that we make there we can either put sheep in there or we can do arable farming in there if we put sheep in there we are going to have to get a little bit of hay for them buying the sheep in the first place is going to cost a bit of money although actually there is a way around that we're still going to cost money but animals sheep nine thousand that's twenty six thousand that's the one that we had originally we've got these Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.